Hi everyone, um, we are back here in my kitchen and um, today we are going to talk about uh, shoot anatomy one more time with reference to uh, cell types, tissue types, but specifically we're talking about the genus Allium in the family Amaryllidaceae, which is the lily family actually. So all of these uh, common vegetables or aromatics are in the same genus, the genus Allium. And I want to give a little bit of credit to my friend Catherine Preston, who is the botanist in the kitchen, and she has some great uh, blog posts that I will link to um, that some of this information comes from. And she's also doing excellent kitchen dissections too, so you should watch all of her stuff. All right, so I want to spend most of my time today on leeks, but I wanted to uh, show you first, this is um, a ramp which is a native allium in Indiana, and it grows in shady woods with sandy soils. I happen to have some growing in my backyard, and I wanted to show you that it's a whole plant, and you can use the leaves in uh, soups or whatever, and it has sort of a characteristic onion bulb and uh, uh, roots that are coming out from the base of the bulb. So um, here the leaves have sort of fused and are wrapped around each other, and down here is the bulb, and this part is exciting because this part is an area where we have a, a new bulb coming up through uh, asexual reproduction. Um, and so we were talking about asexual reprodu reproduction and parenchyma cells, and here's a great example of that. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside. So this is a ramp. It is in the species Allium um, trichocum, um, and it's native to Indiana. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you are just very briefly uh, onion, what we call yellow onion and garlic. These are both allium as well. Um, and I'm not gonna dissect them today, but I want you to know that both of these things are um, above ground. Well, these are basically shoots and the roots are down at the base here. So even though onions and garlic both grow underground, these are modified leaves. And we'll talk about that maybe next week. But um, the onion that you uh, fry up and eat and the garlic that you use to season things are both modified fleshy leaves and not roots. So I'm gonna put those aside as well because today I wanna to focus on leeks because tonight I'm gonna to make potato leek soup for dinner. And this leek has been sitting in my um, windowsill in a glass of water for about 10 days or so. When I got it, it looked a little bit like this. Um, and I stuck it in some water and it immediately, well, nearly immediately started growing roots. So I just wanna point out one more time that a lot of your food in your refrigerator is alive. Um, this leek is now an entire plant. It has uh, leaves, it has a little bitty stem in the center here, and then it has actively growing roots as well. Um, one strange thing about Allium and about a lot of monocots is that they have a, a rosette of leaves and not a very prominent stem. This may look like a stem because um, it has been uh, farmed with a hill of soil as the um, leaves expanded. The farmers have um, put soil around the stem to prevent it from turning, or it's not a stem, the leaves to prevent them from turning green. So it, um, it looks like a stem, but what it really is is a pseudo stem. This here is a single leaf, and I'm going to, if I can, I'm gonna slice open the leaf, um, the, the outermost leaf here, and peel it around. And so you can see that the leaf has a, um, a cylindrical uh, aspect to it at the base where it wraps around the leaf that is beneath it. So I'm gonna pull off the whole leaf, and you can see that leeks often have a lot of dirt associated with them. That's because the dirt was hilled up to here when it was growing. Um, and so the leaf is flattens out onto a green blade at the top, but at the base, it's wrapped around this pseudo stem. And so if you pulled apart each of these leaves, um, eventually you would get to, uh, the leaves would get smaller and smaller and smaller because I just pulled off the oldest leaf. The youngest leaf is actually at the center in the very middle. And so if I can, I'm going to cut open. And I'm going to, uh, oh, there's my dogs. And so what you can see here is that the leaves get smaller and smaller and smaller. And imagine that each one of these little layers 
is part of a green leaf up at the top. You can peel them and peel them and peel them apart. So I have peeled away the leaves and what you can see here, I hope, is that there is a sort of a conical structure right here. It goes up here and down here and it's really small. And right there is the apical meristem and the leaves here are so small and so white because they're inside the rest of the leaves uh, piled around them. And then the roots are here. So the stem is basically like this little round bit and right here, um, and all the rest of the leek is a pseudo stem, um, and you can see that the pseudo stem is just cylinder after cylinder wrapped around. So um, the last thing that I want to show you about leeks is something that I learned from my friend Catherine Preston, the botanist in the kitchen, or one of the botanists in the kitchen. Um, and what I wanted to show you here is that leeks have this really cool aspect of their roots, which is that sometimes they look like little. They look like they're um, they're folded up like an accordion. They're contracted and they have like little stripey bits here. That's because they're contractile roots and the roots as they grow down, they pull the stem down towards the earth. They, they're pulling the plant and anchoring it to the earth. Um, and that, I'll show a picture of that later that I got from Catherine that Catherine took. Um, and it is, it's a really cool little aspect of uh, the vascular tissue in the roots of the leek. Um, Oh, I guess one one really last thing is that you can see the parallel veins. We've been looking at plants with um, netted veins. This is a, a plant that has uh, parallel veins. The, the veins basically, the vascular tissue is arranged in straight lines so that it almost looks stripy um, in some areas of the plant. And that is uh, typical of monocots, which is the group of plants that the Amaryllidacea and the allium within the Amaryllidacea um, are found. All right, well, um, that's all I've got about leeks. I'm going to cut up these leeks and uh, saute them in butter and put them in a soup with some potatoes and um, enjoy a lunch of delicious parenchyma tissue. And I hope that you are also uh, enjoying your plants in your kitchen and outside because it's spring, at least where I am. All right, thanks very much, and I'll see you all um, hopefully in office hours. Okay, take care. Bye.